it is hot in Arizona. It is hot. It is, it was 120 degrees or something like that. It is warm. There we go guys, this is our next load going to Nevada. We got 49,000 pounds of rebar. That's what we're gonna do. No tarp on this one, just strap it and go. So, that's what we got. Picking up over here in Menezna, Arizona, just south of Phoenix. So I'm gonna start throwing some straps and try and get this thing secured. Hi guys, we're all strapped, ready to go. Bulkhead on the front and straps with belly straps on them over the top and over the bottom row. That's what we got. We are ready to roll. It is hot in Arizona. It is hot. It is, it was 120 degrees or something like that. It is warm. But anyways, we got the rebar loaded, we got it strapped down. I didn't even attempt to shoot any video. I was so hot, so wore out. Yeah. I thought I was gonna pass out. It's hot out there. Wow, a big difference from Flagstaff. It was like 78 degrees in Flagstaff, and then you no humidity. There's a big difference out there. But anyways, over here in Mesta, Arizona, or I don't know how you say it. We delivered that load this morning, the um, uh, aluminum load. Got it off around 10.30 or so. We got there, I said I didn't want to get there before nine, but I ended up rolling in there like at 8.45 and they didn't have a problem with me. I unstrapped, untarped, and uh, they unloaded me. And got this load, it was only like a 20 mile deadhead, but they didn't get it till like 12 o'clock. And then until I got over here, it was after one. And then there's just so many trucks. So many people coming and getting loaded. There must have been 10 or 15 trucks ahead of me. Till I got, oh, I think it was almost four o'clock. It was after four o'clock till I started strapping it. And I got here just after one. So it took them almost three, three and a half hours to load me. Which isn't bad considering how many trucks was here. But we drove 199.2 miles. And that would be from Flagstaff to the delivery this morning and then from there over here. And we're just right outside the shipper. I don't have no time, my time has expired. So I just putted at three mile an hour outside of Shipper and there's a big dirt parking lot on the other side of the road. Now it's putted across there and we're gonna take a 10 hour break there and start tomorrow morning. We're going to Nevada, 739 loaded miles. And we're gonna get it off on Friday. We can do 500 tomorrow. That'd put us about 240 out. If we can do 550 tomorrow, that'd put us about 200 out. 190 or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're gonna leave early. Um, we're gonna try to ride here at four in the morning. Get up the road. And we'll go from there. And I'm gonna get something to eat, and I'm going to bed because I'm tired and hot and wore out. See you guys tomorrow. We are in Fallon, New, yeah, New Nevada. So we left Phoenix at four o'clock this morning. Uh, drove nine hours and 44 minutes 552 miles over here to Fallon Nevada and we still got 200 miles to drive in the morning so tomorrow it was a, it's about a long day it felt like whew, I drove I've, I've been on the road you can run 14 hours on your 14 hour clock you can drive 11 hours in that 14 hours man it seems like I've been on the road for 15 16 hours it feels like I've been driving forever it was a long day today but anyways, we got 200 miles to get in the morning. Um, I think we can start driving legally at 3.30. I think we're going to be on the road no later than 4. We're 200 miles out, like I said. And uh, we got some mountains, I think. I think we got some mountains to go over, so that's going to take some time. So I'm going to give myself as much time as possible. i got to be there at 8.30. So if I leave at 4, or on the road, leave no later than 4. Try to be on the road between 3.30 and 4. That'll give me four and a half hours to go 200 miles. We should be able to do that. That's the plan anyways. Um, yeah, not a whole lot more than that. Just it, it delivers at 8.30 in the morning and we're leaving at 8.30. Um, 
I stopped and got fuel in Kingman, Arizona. And I got a shower in Kingman, Arizona. And uh, I think that's about it. That's about all we got. So uh, I'm pulling, I don't know if I said how much I weighed. They put 49,000 and some change on. And my total weight of the trailer is 79,500 and something. Or 400 or something. I'm like 450 pounds from being at the max I can be. I can be 80,000 pounds. I'm 79,450 or 79,550, something like that. It's a heavy load. That rebar, they put a lot of rebar on. It's not a lot of rebar, but it's a, it's a, a good bit of weight on there. So anyways, that's what we got. We're out of here. Try to run here by four. Get over there, make a delivery, and we'll go from there.